in previous queries we do not have any names for the resultant relations in general for most of queries we need to apply several relational algebra operations one after another like this query here we need to apply first selection operator then projection in this kind of complex queries either we can write the operations as a single relational algebra expression by nesting the operations like this this entire result is nested inside this projection operation or we can apply one operation at a time and create intermediate result relations in this second case we must give names to the intermediate results relational algebra provides a rename operation by using this we can rename either relation name or attribute names or both can be done syntax can be either in these three ways or this one or this one here attributes and relation both renamed here only relation name is renamed here only attributes are renamed row is used to denote the rename operator s is the new relation name b1 b2 up to b and are the new attribute names in sql also we can rename relation or attributes of relation by using aliasing with keyword as see this query retrieve the first name last name and salary of all employees who work in department number 5 relational algebra query is project f name l name salary then select department number equal to 5 on relation employee here this selection operation is nested inside projection operation alternatively we can apply one operator at a time by giving name to each intermediate relation using the assignment operator assignment operator is denoted with left arrow first we can apply selection operator sigma d num equal to 5 on employee relation give department 5 employees for this resultant relation apply projection operation on this department 5 employees and give the name result for the resultant relation for this relational algebra query equivalent sql query is select f name l name salary from employee where d num equal to 5 first department 5 employees will be selected from that we need to project first name last name and salary so final result will be this one suppose if we want to rename the columns retrieve the first name last name and salary of all employees who work in department number 5 by using renaming for renaming this row will be used here we want to rename f name l name and salary to first name last name and salary if we want to rename this relation employee with e we can add this one also equivalent sql query will be this one here we want to rename this employee with e and this f name l name and salary with first underscore name last underscore name and salary so select e dot f name as first name e dot l name as last name e dot salary as salary and the filtering condition where e dot department number equal to 5 So then result will be this one here we can see attribute names changed to this new names first underscore name last underscore name 